Hey guys, welcome back to Cast Strength. This is Vito's Corner, and it's still dry week. This is the last full day of dry week. This is day number uh, six. Tomorrow is going to be Tuesday, which dry week ends at 12 p.m. that day. So as a little treat to everybody, because I know some people can't get these, well, can't get what they're called, Timbits. Timbits. Uh, so what these essentially are, these are sold at Tim Hortons, and I guess some Americans would call them donut holes, I think. So I have a little bit of a variety here of stuff. Um, the, the Tim Hortons that I went to didn't obviously have um, all the flavors that I kind of wanted. I wanted to do a whole bunch. I only got like, I think, four or five in here. So um, we'll go through each one. <laughs> talk about some Timbits. Okay, so I want to start with this one here. Uh, so this is a raspberry filled uh, like powder sugar sort of deal Timbit. So I'm really upset about this one because it's raspberry filled and not strawberry filled. It used to be strawberry filled and strawberry is vastly superior to raspberry. So it's kind of lost a little bit of a couple of points on the veto scale for Timbit goodness. Okay, let's try it. So it's good, you know, there's enough straw raspberry filling in there, you know, to get that that flavor. The dough itself is a little bit, a little bit dense. I'd like it a bit softer. But still very good, but it'll be much better with strawberry. Next is what Tim Hortons calls their birthday cake, 10 bit. It's just got sprinkles on it. I think it's just like a normal just dough, but it's actually really good. It's one of my, it's quickly becoming one of my favorites since they, you know, started making them. This one doesn't have any filling. Also the inside has the little coloring things. I don't know if, if it's flavored or not, but it's very tasty. Like I said, one of my favorites. Definitely high up there on the Vito scale. Next we have the classic chocolate glaze. No, not much to say about this. It's classic. It's delicious. Before I even try it, mm. it's all good. I love Timbits. If you were to get me a pack of fifty of them, and they sell them in packs of fifty, probably down the whole fifty myself. Yeah, chocolate again, just like the birthday cake one, high up on the Vito scale. I get a lot of flack for this one. This is an old-fashioned plain. It's just fried dough very bland for some people for my fellow calabres watching um <laughs> depending on the on the town i guess too um our uh, desserts like our cookies and everything are pretty bland my, you know give or take a couple that are you know frosted with some you know sugar and stuff like that but for the most part it's it's you know just very basic and I kind of grew up on that, so it's like stuff like this, stuff like this doesn't phase me. I actually prefer stuff like this. The one thing to consider as well, if you get like stuff like this, is they're perfect dunking Timbits. So like into your hot chocolate, into your coffee, if you're into that sort of deal, it absorbs everything. So if you want to impart a little bit of what you're drinking to this, it works. I'll put this in the middle of the Vito scale just because if I give it too high, of a rating, people are gonna people are gonna get their pitchforks out. All right, so this is a honey dip, the honey dip one. Honestly, I don't know anything about this one. I think it's dipped in some sort of honey concoction that Tim Hortons invented. It's one of the lighter ones, like it's super, super light and fluffy. It's sweet, tasty. Nothing wrong with this one. This is a new one. This is a double double Tim bit and. And then I'll go out on a limb and just, I've never had this before, and assume that a double-double Timbit is their attempt at making the double-double coffee, which is two cream, two sugar, into a Timbit. Holy crap, <laughs> it actually is. It tastes like a coffee. That's actually kind of cool. Hmm. Okay. Not bad, surprise of the day. And last but not least, my all-time favorite, 
old-fashioned glazed. So this is just the old-fashioned plain that I had before. The one with like nothing on it, but it's been glazed with sugar. Mmm. -hmm. So good. I, lo I love this one. This is always a top for me. Even like if I'm given a choice of donuts, old-fashioned glazed donuts are absolutely fantastic. All right, so that's Timbits for you guys. Donut holes for the Americans. If you're ever in Canada, grab yourself a couple. They're really good. They pair well with coffee. And you yourself can one day be an honorary Canadian if you try them. So that's it for today. We'll see you guys on the other side of the dry week period. And we'll start back up with whiskey reviews and um, some other stuff, um, you know, whiskey related. And we'll keep the train moving. So in the meantime, stay safe. Stay classy, and we'll see you guys next time. Cheers, guys.